I will build a great, great wall on our southern border, and I will have Mexico pay for that wall. Yeah. Mark my words. Yeah. The vaccine is one of the greatest achievements of mankind. I came up with a vaccine, with three vaccines. All are very, very good. G'day there, subs and visitors. Welcome back. First of all, I want to say I really enjoy reading all of your comments that you leave in the comments section, and I appreciate you all very much. This video begins in relation to The Atlantic, which is an American magazine and multi-platform publisher, and it features articles on politics, foreign affairs, business and the economy, culture, the arts, technology and science, and it was founded in 1857. Its first issue was published on November 1st of 1857, so almost reaching the anniversary of its 167th year. And I saw an image today that someone had shared on Facebook and it caught my attention and that's how I ended up making this video. For its October 2024 issue, The Atlantic looks to the presidential election with a package of stories and a striking cover illustration examining Donald Trump's anti-democratic tendencies. The articles cover the Republican politicians who bent easily to Trump's will and the threats that a second Trump term poses. On the cover, the illustrator Justin Metz borrowed the visual language of Ray Bradbury and Stephen King paperbacks to portray a circus wagon on its omnious approach to a defiled capital. Something Wicked This Way Comes, Bradbury's 1962 masterpiece, was a particular inspiration, and it's said to be the first cover bearing no headline or typography uh, in the Atlantic's 167-year history. So then I began to look into the number 167, and I found all of these matches in ordinal. So November 18, 24, fake alien invasion, and it's all scripted. And from there, I went on to find more. One piece of interesting information that I found was that Trump Plaza is a 36-story cooperative apartment and retail building located at 167 East 61st Street on the Upper East Side of Manhattan in New York City. And the Trump Plaza Hotel and Casino in Atlantic City was demolished after being closed since September 16, 2014. The hotel and casino itself, the whole building, was imploded on February 17, 2021. And I found myself landing at November 28 multiple times um, while I was looking at days and time frames in between certain events. And from Wednesday the 17th of February when, in 2021 when the building was imploded, to the 28th of November 2024 is 1,380 days. So there's 138 in there. And also it was three years, nine months and 11 days. So there's a little reference to 9-11 there as well. The video footage of the implosion and the, and the photos just reminded me a lot of 9-11. And the interesting thing about the new tower that replaced the original two towers that fell on 9-11 is that it's the tallest building in the Western Hemisphere standing at 1,776 feet and it was topped out on May 10, 2013 and it's 138 months and 18 days from May 10th, 2013 to the 28th of November this year. But I was even more surprised when I found that it's exactly 138 days from 13th of July 2024, when Trump was fired at, to Thursday 28th of November 2024. So just to recap, it's 1,380 days from the 17th of February 2021, when the Trump Plaza was imploded, to the 28th of November this year. It's 138 months and 18 days from May 10th 2013 to the 28th of November this year. And it's 138 days from the 13th of July, 2024, when the incident with Trump happened to the 28th of November this year. And all natural forms can be traced back to simple 
geometric proportions, no matter the size, whether it be the planets or the length of their orbits, the macrocosm, or whether you're looking at plant blossoms or insect bodies, down to the smallest parts, um, the atoms, which is the microcosm. And according to ancient teachings, all these proportions were designed in the greatest possible harmony. Proportions such as halves, quarters and eighths are just as much a part of the explanation of the laws of nature as irrational number ratios, such as the circle number pi, the golden section or the square root of two. And humans are also designed in harmonic proportions. And if we look at um, Vitruvian man, the average measurements were taken from both males and females to create a drawing of each that resemble da Vinci's Vitruvian man. And the average male height was five feet, six inches. For a female, it came out to five feet and three inches. So a height of 167 centimetres is about five feet, six inches, which is considered to be about average for an adult in many parts of the world. And as the height of the One World Trade Centre is 1,776 feet, I thought I'd look at how many days between July 4th and 18th of November. And that's 137 days or 414 months. So 414 is 3 times 138, and 137 is obviously the fine structure constant. And, of course, the 28th of November is Turkey Day, Thanksgiving. I also found that active shooting equals 167 in the same cipher I've used throughout this whole thing. It's just ordinal. And what I'm about to show here is not isometric by measure in days. There's 42.2 years in between the first event and the event in the middle. And then there's 43.3 years in between the middle and the most recent event. But it's pretty neat and tidy nonetheless, and I found it highly amusing. So I'm just going to show you what I found. In 1939, there was a Donald Duck cartoon released by Walt Disney called Donald's Lucky Day. And the plot reads that in a harborside building on a foggy night, February 13th, which happens to fall on Friday the 13th, two criminals prepare a gift bomb for someone named Scarpus at 1313 13th Street for Valentine's Day. And Donald Duck is hired to deliver the package, being unaware of the bomb it contains. And complications arise when a black cat crosses his path, but fortunately for Donald, the cat ends up knocking the bomb into the water of the harbour and he survives. So 42.2 years later brings us to the 30th of March in 1981 where there was a t an attempted assassination of Ronald Reagan. Uh, that turned out to be his lucky day. And then 40, uh, sorry, 43.3 years later brings us to the 13th of July when the attempt was made on Donald Trump and it was also his lucky day. So we had Donald's lucky day, Ronald's lucky day, and then Donald's lucky day. And just the name Donald Duck itself, it's like, you know, Duck Donald. There's a bullet coming for you. And we also have our Friday the 13th coming up in a couple of days, which is on the 13th of September, which leaves 66 days until um, November 18 and 76 days until November 28. Gerald Ford was someone who had two attempts on him and the last one was on the 22nd of September in 1975. Uh, 17,956 days brings us to 18th of November 24. And as I started to reduce that number down um, into halves and then I halved those halves and, you know, made quarters, um, I ended up um, from that date... 22nd of September, of September, 1975, I added 8,978 days, and that brought me out to Friday the 21st of April in 2000, which is was Good Friday. And the interesting thing about um, Gerald Ford, so he was, he was born on July 14. So it's just one day off uh, Trump's little adventure with a flying bullet. Also, he passed away 
Gerald Ford, on the 26th of December, on Christmas Day. And when I broke that number down again into a quarter, so from 17,956 days, I took a quarter of that and I added it to the 22nd of September in 1975. And that brought me out to the 6th of January in 1988, which is exactly 33 years prior to J6 of 2021. So just as I mentioned earlier, how everything is subject to the proportions of its parts, perhaps it's a similar thing with events. Uh, so, you know, you can look in the middle and you can then look in the middle again. So you, you, you're looking at sections of this time frame and breaking it down. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a possibility. So are we looking at November 18 for something interesting to occur or November 28th, fake alien invasion, some kind of repeat event. By the way, it's most likely going to be a staged event. If anything at all major does occur. Anyway, that's it for me and my inquiries into the lives of Gerald, Ronald and Donald. So I hope you all have a great day wherever you are and I hope to catch you on the next one.